It's often said that shyness in children can be a sign of insecurity and vulnerability. However, for many families with slow to warm up kids, this isn't necessarily the case. Kids who are slow to warm up may simply need more time in order to open up and feel comfortable with their environment or new people. In my quest to discover how parents can handle slow to warm up kids and why we should avoid labeling them shy, I had the pleasure of speaking to Sarah Thatcher, owner and founder of Oak City Council. And I think that there's a continuum or a spectrum of how shy a child can be and what that can look like and how that can manifest in their life. Oftentimes, I think parents have a expectation that children should greet other people, adults, um, other children, you know, look at look at them, eyes open, louder tone of voice, very polite, which I think is a societal expectation that we have for our kids. Now, is that unrealistic? Not necessarily. It depends on the child. If there is a child or you have a child who is prone to being kind of anxious, sometimes these situations, especially these social situations, can be anxiety provoking. And so I think part of what we want to think about as parents, what is going to be in the best interest of this child, not what is going to be the most polite thing or what are the societal expectations here. If if there is a lot of pressure and pushing a child to talk. The more pressure there is and the more energy and attention and focus there is on their shyness or on their uh, lack of communication, the worse it's going to be. The more it kind of brings this to light, the more attention it gives it. So when we have a situation where we want our child to be more communicative, um, one of, I think, like the worst things we can do is to push the child or to shame the child or to put a lot of attention into this, this situation. I think a better way to handle that is to ignore it. The, the less attention we give something like this, the, the less of a big deal it seems and the more um, that kind of the anxiety goes down. It's important to look at how is this affecting the child? Is it impolite for a child to not greet someone? Um, yeah. Is it really affecting that child um, in a negative way? Probably not. It's probably affecting the parent more. If this is something where the child is unable to speak um, or it becomes a situation where the child is, you know, frozen and can't interact with other children or other people and this kind of doesn't get better over time or doesn't improve after a little warm up period. I think that might be something to consider as being of concern. Again, I think it depends on how big of an impact it's having on a child's life and their experience. Is it impacting their ability to be successful in school? Is it impacting their ability to have friendships? Is it impacting their ability to engage in activities, sporting events, clubs, that kind of thing? If so, then, you know, yeah, it could be that this is something to be addressed or to see a therapist about. There are times where children can be very anxious, and in those situations, they can shut down and not even speak at all. We want to be careful not to shame any children that are that are kind of experiencing this because they already might feel kind of an internal sense of shame. And pointing this out or, or kind of making it into something that's, you know, detrimental about them could could really produce some some feelings of shame and and feeling like they kind of can't do the right thing. I think approaching a child with shyness again ignoring it, not making a big deal out of it and kind of seeing if it dissipates when you don't put a lot of energy into it. Um the more that we put energy into something like this, the bigger it gets. 